So I got a bunch of these moment lenses and also this ND filter. We've had a conversation about these before. Neutral density filters, the filter mount, and about five of their lenses. The challenge has been, how do we add these lenses to the iPhone and then use the iPhone with the DJI Osmo 2. I'm gonna share with you my process, but first the intro. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carlos and I wanted to show you something. This is what the iPhone 10 or iPhone XS Max and this is a moment lens with the neutral density filter in here and what's cool about this one is if you spin this around the variable nd filter will get lighter and darker that's super light and then if i twist it watch how it gets dark that's pretty cool but the challenge is how are we going to get this heavy rig onto the Osmo 2. Before we go any further, let me go ahead and say this. Only do this at your own caution. I did it, it worked out. You have to be very careful because you don't want to grind off too much of the phone case. That being said, let's go down the list of things that you're going to need. Obviously, some moment lenses. I highly suggest getting an ND filter and if you do that you're gonna need the filter mount this little part here lets you insert the lens and when you twist it it kind of clicks into place and it holds the lens up against your phone very nicely this moment camera case is only about thirty dollars you're gonna want to take your phone off of the case when you're trying to get your grind on the case is only thirty dollars the phone is what a thousand something so you really need to be careful with your phone. So first step is take the phone out of the case. We have lenses, we have a case. One of the other things that I got is this wrist strap. When you're putting this rig on your Osmo, take this wrist strap off. You'll see once you start putting all of the wires in here, this gets in the way. So take this off and put it in your pocket. Another thing you're gonna need, obviously your phone. As you saw, the lens sits on the case and it's really super heavy. So your phone is going to tilt this way on the gimbal. If you go on shopmoment.com, you can get this counterweight and it's pretty slick. It's this Velcro strap that goes around the arm of the Osmo. And then it's got these removable counterweights. They're about, 30 grams a piece and there's two of them I put both of them on one side to help pull everything to the same direction you're going to need an Osmo 2 they have an Osmo 3 these are pretty affordable the Osmo 3 I think are selling for a hundred or hundred fifty dollars and while we're decking out this rig we might as well take a look at microphones this is the Rode VideoMic Pro it's powered like that and then you just obviously you slide this into the phone and you're off and running if I'm not using that I'm using these guys this is the receiver and this is a transmitter this is the Rode wireless mic go and you've seen me wearing these in previous videos these are super useful so so these are probably my favorite microphone and then this would be a very close second. And since the audio that's coming out of both of those microphones are TRS, and the audio that goes into the iPhone is TRRS, and a very quick explanation, this is an example of a TRS connector. And you see T stands for tip, R stands for ring, and then S is the sleeve, and TRRS is tip ring ring sleeve. This is the Rode SC7 and I'll leave a link to all of this stuff 
in the description of this video. This is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So we're gonna do like that. And now we can slide that into the iPhone. And when we're using the wireless mic go setup, what I do is I put a rubber band on this arm here, and then I'll take the receiver that has this built-in little clip here, and I just clip that onto the rubber band, and now the gimbal can come and go as it pleases. This cable here ends up getting plugged in there, and then this goes up to the phone. That's pretty much all we need for the rig. Now let's take a look at what we need to make this case and the phone and all the gadgets that are attached to it actually fit and actually make it to where we can balance the gimbal. Because if the gimbal is unbalanced, the motors within the gimbal are going to work extra hard to try to balance it and you might burn it out. Okay, first thing we need is a clamp. And I have this really big one. I got a really, really big clamp because when we go to clamp this onto the table, you don't really want to compromise the edges of this case. So I set this down on the table and I just clamp down. And then I had access to this part here, which is what we're gonna grind down in just a little bit. I have a Dremel 3000. You can find these on Amazon for like $70 probably. They're super affordable and they're very versatile. And the last thing we need is some sort of eye protection. So I couldn't find my safety goggles. So I just took these bad boys out. That's enough of that. The bits that I used with the Dremel is I have this grinder. Grinder, I hardly knew her. I also used this sander, and then to wrap it up, I used this little buffer. And the reason I did that was when you grind the bottom of this, you're gonna see that the plastic is gonna kind of like shear off. You just wanna sand that down, and then you don't want any sharp edges. So you just go through with the little buffer, and I'll smooth that right out. And now that we got the grinding done, you'll see that it's not the sexiest grind, but it works. One of the things that you'll find when you have everything put together is you have to put this in the phone, but you have to push this as close to possible to the back end of this gimbal. And the problem is you're gonna start bending this wire and you don't wanna do that because eventually this wire will fail. So what I found is this phone adapter. It's got the lightning connector there but then it also has the lightning female sides as a T. So now when we push that into the phone, we can then take this, slide this in here, and now you don't have bending wires that are about to break. There's a couple other things that I wanted to show you. There's this little bracket here that you can connect to the underside of the gimbal, and then you can use this side to attach your microphone, or I have this extension arm that I got when I bought my roller skate dolly. So you can take this side and attach it to the underside of the gimbal, and then you have this side of the arm that'll connect to whatever microphone you're using. Okay, and I'm going to attach one of the lenses. And if you notice, there's a little notch right there, and there's a notch. So what you do is you line up those two lines and then you twist clockwise. You don't have to go super hard. You just go until it stops and now it's in there and it's not moving at all. So, and now we're gonna take our little T connector and if you notice, 
it's got a power and it's got a headphone but that headphone works for microphone and i've learned that if you have your phone in the gimbal like this it's better to have the power side going up because you're going to be using the microphone side way more often you just don't have dangly wires coming up and over in all kinds of crazy ways it's like that so now let's go ahead and get this in the gimbal and notice how off center that is it's really bad but that's because there's this big lens and to be completely transparent with you guys this this is a very well made lens it's it doesn't feel cheap at all when you hear people talking about it on YouTube, they're like, oh, this is very well made, blah, 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 until you get it. Like this thing has some heft to it. It's made out of glass and metal. So it's a very high quality product, but it's really heavy. And that's where the counterweight comes in. And the way this works is there's this arm and we're gonna attach it to this side of the arm. And that's where adding the weights all to that one side comes in handy. So what you do is you put that in there and then you thread the, thread the strap through there and then you Velcro it down. And now we kind of, it's a little better, but it's not at all perfect. So I'm going to loosen up both of these, both of these knobs here. And then I'm going to pull this out to get a little more balance. I'm going to pull it all the way out and then tighten up the extension arm that extends it this way. And you see how we got pretty good balance that way. But now we have to work on the balance this way. What I'm going to do is make sure that this is loosened up and then I'm going to push this as much as I possibly can down. So you see how we kind of got it, but not really. I'm going to turn on the gimbal just to see what happens. So I'm going to double tap the power button. And there we go. We have it. It's, it's pretty good. And notice how there's no bending wires or anything. Everything is way safer. And we are limiting the stress on the motors of the gimbal. One of the things that I noticed when I went to go add the ND filter, this adds so much weight to the lens that there's no way to, to balance it out unless I added way more weights. So if you're gonna use an ND filter, go ahead and take it out of the gimbal because what you don't wanna do is burn out the motors and then all of a sudden this becomes a very expensive project we have everything balanced on the gimbal let's see what we can do to add a microphone to it i'm going to take my extension arm and i'm going to connect it to the little connector right back there this is the quarter 20 which is the standard connector for all the tripods now the cool thing about this is it stays nice and flimsy until we tighten this knob here. So what I'm going to do is reach over and grab my Rode VideoMic Pro. And there's our rig. We have a moment lens on a iPhone, on a gimbal with no twisted wires, no bended wires with a microphone. And that's all it took, just a little grinding. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you know anyone else that's been struggling with their Osmo slash Moment Lens connection, send this video on over to them. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And you see that little bell right next to the subscribe button? Hit that so every time I come out with some videos, you'll be alerted. I'm creating videos that have to do with animation, filmmaking. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope that this video finds you in good health and everyone that matters to you. I hope they are healthy as well. And I will see you in the next video.